What's up, ladies and gentlemen? YouTube. So, the title of this video is true. I gotta turn in my truck. So, story. It's kind of a good and bad thing, kind of. So basically, uh, I own a house in, in Utah and I live in California and I was trying to sell my house in Utah and with the whole virus thing going on it kind of messed up the market so long story short I have to move back to Utah but um, to move back to Utah and get my license transferred over get my kids situated and get everything done at home it's gonna take a while and uh, I guess as a company driver you can't take uh, that many days off so I talked to my fleet manager told my fleet manager what was going on and he said that's fine so I asked for about a week and a half two weeks off and uh, he said that's fine um, the only bad thing is with that many days off I have to turn in the truck do my thing and then, uh, as long as I come back before 28 days then uh, I'll get another truck and then I just have to take a, a drug test so I'm all not irritated I'm just kind of bummed because I got situated in this truck and I really like this truck um, so I guess like the only reason why I'm like irritated is because I gotta take everything out of this truck. And I don't have a ton of stuff, but still it takes a while to take everything. I gotta to get my chains, I gotta get my clothes, I gotta get uh, my organizers, everything that I have in all my shelves, or cabinets, sorry, all my cabinets, I gotta take all that stuff out. And it's not like it's gonna take me, you know, two or three days to do it, but still it's gonna take a while. Holy smokes. Hold on, let me try to fix this. There. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of bummed out that, you know, I got to turn in the truck. I mean, I get it, you know. They, they explained to me that, you know, it's a business. They can't just let a, a truck that they're paying for sit there and not make any money for two weeks. So, I mean, I guess I get it, you know what I mean? But, you know, I, I called somebody um, at the Salt Lake uh, office um, and because I heard they're short on trucks and I heard they weren't doing any upgrading. Um, and I, I didn't know if it was true or not. So I called the person and they said, yeah, we're not really doing upgrading right now. Just because they're short on trucks so that's what kind of worries me is that I got to turn this truck in I got to do what I got to do for about you know a week and a half two weeks to get situated in Utah and then when I come back there there's not gonna be a truck available for me so um, that's gonna be kind of a bummer so I might have to get forced into a lightweight truck if they have a lightweight truck um, which is not too bad. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not too bad. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the situation. Is that I got to give my truck up just so I can move back to Utah. Um, so I'm kind of bummed out. Um, I was born and raised in California, Southern California. I wanted to raise my kids there. And uh, my plans for that are just put on hold um, until I can tell this virus thing goes away and then I can sell my house and maybe maybe move back to California but we'll see we'll see maybe not maybe I'll just stay in Utah it all depends but I mean the the, the upside to me moving to California at least with Prime is that uh, I might go lease I might not it just depends um, because in California, Prime doesn't let their drivers lease 
if you live out of California, if you got a California residence. Uh, it was all because of that uh, AB5 law or whatever California came out with. Um, so yeah, I might go lease. Uh, still haven't quite figured that out yet. I, I know there's, there's pros and cons behind lease. My biggest con behind a lease is um, having to pay for something and then not be able to keep it at the end of the lease, you know. Um, so if I were to do a lease, I would prefer to just buy a used truck. Um, that way my payments, you know, weekly slash monthly be super, super low and I can make a lot more money, uh, you know, doing the lease operator, owner operator program. So if I do decide to go lease living in Utah, more than likely I will buy a used, um, a used truck something that's half the price of a new truck, which just means more money in my pocket, uh, being a, a lease operator, owner operator. So, and I don't see anything wrong with, with a used truck, to be honest. I mean, this truck that I'm in now has 250,000 miles on it and it runs solid. And most of the trucks that I see, most of the used trucks um, that I see are anywhere from 250 to to 500,000 miles. I wouldn't buy anything with 500,000. Uh, I'd buy something closer to the 250 range. But anyways, that's what's happening. Um, unfortunately, so um, my last day will be around May 1st. Um, and then I got to take two weeks off to, uh, to move. Um, so I probably won't make any videos around that time. I might, I might not. But we'll see what happens when I come back. You guys stay tuned. Uh, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.